Due to atmospheric instability, there were sporadic showers hitting in the upper parts of the nation, including the capital area. And more pop-up showers are expected in some of the inland regions until late at night. And chances of sudden showers will persist for the upper parts tomorrow. While there'll be nothing but sunshine in the southern provinces, elevating the UV index to very high levels. So for those of you in the southern regions, take the appropriate precautions. And Saturday is Liberation Day here in Korea, and tomorrow is a temporary holiday. But the weather outlook for the upcoming long holiday weekend is not looking all sunny and clear, as more isolated rain is expected for Friday, and it's going to rain all day long on Sunday here in the capital. On that note, let's take a closer look at tomorrow's temperature. Highs in Seoul will rise to 31 degrees Celsius, while Daegu and Gwangju will soar to 32, and Busan will top out at 30 tomorrow afternoon. And as for the other regions, Atijan and Jeju Island will see a high of 31, while Dokdo peaks at 28. Well, that's all for Korea, and here's international weather for viewers around the world.